Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this other video. Today I'm going to show you a simple way to create a vertical scroll navigation in Elementor. This is how it looks like when someone scrolls through. Now let's dive straight in. Two things you should have. One is Elementor, uh, the plugin and Elementor Pro. So by heading straight to the theme builder, we can start creating our vertical scroll navigation. So I'll just say uh, header, a vertical menu and then I'll say create template so once uh, we are here we just need to close up this and we have a blank canvas so once we are here the number one thing we have to create is the menu itself we just head over to appearance menus and we create the menu. Uh, once you're done with creating the menu and adding the menu items, then you just save the menu and head back straight here. One thing we have to do at the moment is to add a new section and this section to have the columns we want. We are going to need about three columns for this tutorial. So we'll just choose uh, something like this. So we have our columns selected and uh, the moment what we need is just to add uh, items within our uh, columns or within our sections so we just head over to here and then we can select I'll use a menu element uh, navigation menu and at the same time I will need to the image element this will work as our logo at the same time we will need uh, a button, a button element, so button, and we place it over there, then we will need um, one to place in our logo, um, I'll use this that I already have here, then our navigation, I select the menu that we created, in this case I only have one menu, just like it is here we only have one menu no other so we select that menu and then we select vertical a then we select vertical menu so once we have this uh, we are one step ahead so now we are going to customize our navigation uh, to achieve this uh, from the background color and the, to the text and the typography and all that stuff so let's uh, see how we can achieve that. So we're going to start with the background then the text So with the background here, I used small uh, This color that come I use this color code um, Then I just come over here Then paste it to be our background color Something like that and then I'm going to reduce a bit the image size here. Just come to style. Then I'll reduce it to something like 50, 50 something. And then the width, I'll just leave it 100%. And then the font, uh, the style for the menu, we'll just go to the custom. And then we'll select. The font face I used here is Rubik. And then I will, um, the weight I used 400, we'll make 400. Then we change the color, the normal color to white. On top of that, we are going to um, change the hover. On hover, we don't need the pointer on hover, so it will just stay as it is. But, but we need the text color to change to grayish, something like, something like this. So we just need to uh, change the text color on over to something like that. Okay, a little bit darker or should be a little bit lighter. Yeah, something like that and then on active active since our home page is active we used a dark 
I think coffee brown. So just active. Uh, we don't need also a pointer. So active would be something to do with the coffee. So something like that. So um, our button is this nice green here and then on hover brings another green so we are just going to switch that up say button um, text color is still white but we are going to change the font which is supposed to be rubik and then we will uh, leave the weight to 400 and then we go to the uh, the background color the uh, background color is this green make it a little bit lighter to match what we have and then on hover we will just have this oh, no 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 clear background color on hover and we just have this so and then so we are now going to work to see that we have the rounded edges so and we achieve that by increasing the border radius so i just made it like 30. here i actually used a padding from uh, from the left hand side so i think we'll just do that so we'll just come to advanced for the button and then we say padding on the left we'll just give it like uh, 15 which is 15 if you can say okay 20 and then for the menu item itself we also give it like how much did we give here 20 and then here also give it like 20 and uh, for for the eye we will just uh, probably leave it just centered and then we can reduce a bit of this column so that it's not too huge so we are somewhere so far so we have our eye the hover is already fixed and then the call to action but we need also to add some padding for our elements the vertical padding and there we just come to style and then we just say vertical padding will increase a little bit so that it so that the items are a little bit spaced the top padding and the bottom padding which is about 25 so we just come to the section advanced and then add something to do with about 20 and then 20 bottom Okay, hope this is enough once we preview how it's now looking like I think we need to still do a little bit of the padding so that these items are probably aligned at the start of the circle of the eye including the button so at the same time we have to remove this white space so that our vertical navigation is starting exactly from the edge of the browser get back this and then we add a little bit of the padding padding on the left I'm going to make it like maybe 30 40 and then for the button also we make it 40 and then we preview C okay not bad but still we can uh, make it probably 50 and for the text also to make it 50 most times most of these tricks take you a couple of changes to achieve really what you want i think now this looks super fine so we are now going to fix this space and the only way we are going to do that is come to the section then we have to select instead of content boxed or content width we just say full width and once we set full width, this is how our content will appear like. Now this again looks a little bit too wide uh, from 
uh, side to side. We're just going to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits right within. And on top of that, we are going to make it a little bit transparent. So we just head back straight here. We reduce a bit of the column size to make it 15. We can just hit in here the digits, say 15. And then we can um, preview and see how it looks. Looks pretty fine. To make sure that the background is transparent and the way we do that is very simple. We just come over to the color and then we reduce the color opacity. So something like this. The very last thing we are going to be doing is adding the scroll or motion effect. So at the moment when someone scrolls our menu, it just goes straight up. We are going to do something like this so that when someone scrolls the menu sticks right through with the page the easiest way to achieve the scroll effect uh, for this menu is by simply going back to our section and then we tap on the section option advanced head over to motion effects just set the sticky option to be on top. We are able now to scroll our menu. Now, one more thing we need to do is the effect, the rolling effect for this menu. This is how it is. When I reload this page, you're going to notice that this menu floats in to the page, something like that. Just come back to our menu, select that uh, column of the section, and then come to uh, advanced, motion effects and then we select fade in and I selected first once we have our menu loaded it will automatically give us that effect that we see here so that's how you achieve the fade in uh, motion effect for this uh, vertical menu and the other thing we need now to fix is where this menu should appear like when someone is viewing from the mobile device i don't think a vertical menu would make really sense so how do you make sure that the vertical menu doesn't show on smaller devices like tablets and mobiles and mobile devices you just come to advanced responsive and say hide on tablet and hide on uh, mobile that is the whole section when you save that will make sure that every time someone is viewing this website on mobile or tablet devices won't see this vertical navigation so that takes us now back to another option uh, you need now to create the horizontal menu which I already did in another tutorial that you'll see up here on the card or down in the description so guys that's how you can create a vertical scroll menu in Elementor in just a couple of minutes. So let me know if this tutorial has been handy or if you want to know how to fix a couple of things here and there in this tutorial that I didn't cover. I'll be so happy to share with you and help you out in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.